Hello and welcome to the Pizza Kitchen. I'm your host, Brian Hernandez, and today I'm joined by the purveyor of pepperoni, the sultan of sausage, Mr. Darren Ezo from Ezo Sausage Company. How are you doing, Darren? Doing very well, Brian. Thanks. No, oh, thank you so much for coming by the kitchen today and uh, showing off some of these products. All right, guys, now we have all of our ingredients assembled. Uh, we're going to just go ahead and construct this pizza. So we have our nice uh, pan crust ready to go here, all proofed up. Uh, our Galvani cheese, our Ezo Sausage Company Cup and Char Supreme Pepperoni, some minced garlic, some chiffonade basil from the plant of Cotter, uh, some red sauce, and some ricotta mix with just salt and pepper. And you uh, know how to sauce a pie? I can sauce a pie. We want to get a little bit of height on the, on the cheese so that when it comes up, it's going to caramelize around the egg. All right, fully cheesed pie. Next step, we're going to take our um, Ezo Sausage Company Cup and Char Supreme Pepperoni. And we're just going to evenly distribute it around there. <laughs> the next thing we're going to do is we're just going to put the, some of this garlic on here. Aim for as much to get as much inside the pepperonis as possible. Those little grease cups, the little chalice, they will pretty much fry the garlic as it cooks. This pie is ready to go in the oven. 10 to 15 minutes, depending on your oven, how fast it bakes. We're going to do ours at about 550. So why don't you uh, tell us a little bit about the Ezo Sausage Company? Well, at Ezo Sausage, we strive to make a better pizza topping for pizzas. You know, we're just using the best ingredients to make the best toppings. What sets you apart from some of the other uh, products out there? Well, we never use least cost formulations. Okay. So we're never putting any fillers or anything in there. We use the same three cuts of meat every time we make our products. It's uh, whole pork shoulders. We use beef fifties to fatten it up and a little bit of guanciale. All of our seasonings are real ground seasonings, no liquids and um, no artificial flavors. We're on average about 10% leaner Okay. than most of our competitors. We right. dried a little longer. We don't have as many oils. I mean, if you're going to eat a fatty meat, it might as well be Ezo's. I love that. Might as well be Ezo's. All right, so uh, I'm looking at some great product in front of us. Why don't you kind of explain what we have sitting right here? Well, here we have our 51 millimeter and our 41 millimeter pepperonis. These are a uh, similar meat block. They're both stuffed in a fibrous casing that's peeled mm -hmm. before it's sliced. These will tend to lay flat on a pie. Below that is our 38 millimeter uh, pepperoni. We do uh, a G. Antonio pepperoni that will cup and get a golden brown around the uh, crown. Okay. We also do a Supreme that will caramelize black due to some of the sugar that we put in there. Oh, okay. Um, and we make a sausage for pizza, which is a little fresher. It's not dried at uh, so aggressively as the pepperoni. Okay. Over here, we have our hard salami. We also make a all pork Genoa salami and a pork and beef uh, Genoa salami. And in the middle, we have our all beef halal pepperoni. Halal pepperoni? Halal pepperoni. To, you know, give people that don't have pork in their life or allow pork in their life, to give them a chance to, you know, have a pepperoni pizza as okay. well. So now we're gonna open it up and see what we have cooking inside. And yes, once again, you open that door and you get that full aroma hitting you right in the face. Yeah, that's perfect. Pure pepperoni. All right, here the sizzle. Got the cheese all the way to the edge. And we see, of course, this beautiful char around the edges. It's not, uh, it's a lot less dark than I thought. The way you were describing it, I almost thought it was gonna be kind of a black char, but it's not necessarily that much. So this is all that caramelization of the sugar in this, in this particular pepperoni? Yeah, exactly. I mean, that, that, uh, that sugar reacts to heat mm -hmm. exactly that way. So it is not burnt, it is caramelized. Okay. As you can see, we have a lot of this garlic cupped inside this pepperoni. It's just been kind of boiled inside, you know, just kind of sauteed. Yeah. So it's going to add a lot of great flavor from the saltiness of the pepperoni. Yeah, I mean, it adds, it adds something nice. And it adds a nice little crunch, too. Mm -hmm. It's garlic fried up like that. We have to add our ricotta mix, some dollops around the edge. If that's not good enough, we're gonna take our chiffonade basil. It's only just a, a small handful. All right, so we've had the time to make our uh, other pizza. It's gonna be a traditional pizza with uh, the 51 millimeter pepperoni on it. All right, here we go. On oh, the moment of truth. Mm -hmm. It's beautiful, it's mm. crispy. Has that perfect amount of char on it. Mm -hmm. 
It's not burnt, it's sweet. Yeah. And what's nice is that this pepperoni is hot, but then that cool ricotta kind of cools it off. And then yeah. you have the, the flavor of the basil on top. Everybody loves that. It's nice even flavor. Yeah. Now this is the 51 millimeter lay flat. Mm -hmm. Just traditional cheese. Mm. That's very good. The pepperoni doesn't take away from the sauce or the dough or the cheese, but it just complements it so much. And what I'm really amazed by is the, the, just the lack of grease that you see there. That's just something that is nice from that lean cut that you guys have. It's not all over your hands. The bottom of the slice has not been compromised by grease. Yep. We call it the uh, booty shot here. <laughs> well, there you have it, folks. Two great tasting products from the Ezo Sausage Company. But they don't stop at pepperoni. They have a great line of sausages and salamis as well. And you can find out more about their products at Ezo.com. And you can also find this recipe at pmq.com slash recipe bank. And that's all the time we have in the kitchen today. I'd like to thank Darren Ezo and Ezo Sausage Company for coming by and being our guests. Thank you so much for letting us try out your products, Darren. Thank you, Brian. I'm your host, Brian Hernandez, with my good friend Darren Ezo. We'll see you guys in the kitchen next time, but until then, you keep those ovens lit.